Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Amber Sharnice and you are tuned into Amber Sharnice TV. You guys, today I'm going to be giving y'all a luxury perfume haul, honey. So we're going to have you spending like money while saving money. So if you are interested in these fragrances that I have to tell you guys about, that I've been getting so many compliments on, then you definitely want to go ahead and stay tuned and we're going to get right into it, okay? Welcome back to all my subbies. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoy it just as much as you enjoy all of my other content. And then for my newbies, okay, hey girl, thank you for stopping by the video. But what I also want you to do is give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and binge watch my channel, okay? Go through all the videos, see which ones you like, which ones you don't like, but just don't say that you don't like them. But see if you like me. If you want to watch more or see more of me, then go ahead and subscribe. Special shout out to my friends over at Dossier for sending over a few fragrances for me to include in my fragrance haul, you guys. They are amazing. I absolutely love this company. I have worked with this company a couple times before and they have nothing but great quality. Dossier delivers high quality, luxury inspired fragrances at a fraction of the price, you guys. And when I tell you they do an amazing job duplicating these fragrances, the ones that you absolutely love, but you don't love spending the money on them, I'm telling you, Dossier is where it's at. And what I love is the fact that they give you the freedom to explore new scents without having to commit to those prices. And even if you get a scent for them and you decide that you don't really like it, it's not for you, they give you the opportunity to return those scents, get your money back, or to discover another scent that you want to test out. So win, win with Dossier, you guys. Of course, I'm going to leave the link down in the description box below. So that way, if you're interested in any of the scents that I speak about with them, then you are able to go ahead and make your own purchase. The haul is not completely based on the Dossier products, but I do have some absolute favorites from them that I do want to include in this video. So let's go ahead and get into it. Get into it, y'all. Y'all, should I do glasses on or glasses off? Don't mind. All right, so the first fragrance that we're going to talk about is this Fruity Brown Sugar by Dossier. So this is the fragrance, you guys. I'm hoping my glare from my glasses did not bother y'all so I think I could kind of see it so I'm gonna take them off real quick um, and I know somebody's gonna ask me because somebody's always asking me about my glasses these are Quattar from zlul.com super affordable glasses I get compliments on these everywhere I go so absolutely love these and your girl's blind so hey they prescription okay because I can't see without them so you guys this particular one here which is the fruity brown sugar is a dupe for YSL Mon Paris Edouard perfume. I think I said that correctly. I don't know. I don't know. Did I say it right or not? Let me go ahead and give you the notes in this particular fragrance. So the top notes are bergamot, raspberry, pear. Um, the middle notes are jasmine, orange blossom, brown sugar, and the base notes are patchouli, amber, and vanilla. So I love this scent, you guys. Um, what's funny is I would have never picked up this YSL one inside the store simply because I didn't want to pay for it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, it's probably gonna be like what, a hundred bucks for like a 30 millimeter. So like, no, I didn't want that. Um, but this smells so good. Look here, I'm not great with describing what notes smell like. Um, but I'm gonna tell you like from an, an experience of what I think they, what it gives, okay? So, mm, so this is given, Elevated Bath and Body Works. That, you know, that, that little pear scent or fragrance from Bath and Body Works is giving the elevation. So this is giving, um, I've been wearing Bath and Body Works majority of my life. I'm, I'm getting ready to turn 21, okay? And I want to mature my scent, but I don't want to go overboard. I don't want to go all, all out because I'm new to this thing. I'm just learning about scents. This is what this particular fragrance gives, okay? It does give that fruity with a little bit of um, umph added behind it. So that's what this <laughs> that's what this fragrance gives. Y'all, y'all gonna find these um, descriptions of these scents hilarious. Cause I'm giving you the notes, okay? But I'm gonna give you what I feel like it gives. That's what the experience is giving for me. All right, next fragrance, you guys. This one is the Gourmand White Flowers, also by Dossier. And this one is inspired by Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Edouard Perfume. And let me go ahead and give you the notes on this one. The top notes are bergamot, green tea, frisa, and berries. 
The middle notes are white flowers, orchid, rose. Base notes is musk, patchouli, caramel, and vanilla. All right, you guys. So this one, I really like. I actually remember going to Sephora. No, it was Ulta. Um, my sister and I were there browsing around because, baby, we love some perfume, okay? We love to smell good. So we were walking around in there, and we smelled this particular perfume, like the real one. We loved the way it smelled. So I will say this because it, it sounds quite scary with all the white flowers and the roses and all that good stuff. It does not smell like old lady flowers. I promise you. Okay. I know that's the per probably the first thing you thought about like, oh, old lady flowers. Mm -mm. That vanilla and that caramel and that musk brings, oh, it just comes out and it comes alive. Now, this is a sexy grown woman right here. This is, we're about to go on our first date, honey. And I want you to want to eat me <laughs> before we leave. Like, it smells really, really good. Like, I am your dessert. Like, dessert where? Because this smells so good. Y'all, mm, this smells so good. It smells so good. Like, I, I can't even, I don't even know where to begin to describe it just smells that good. Like I absolutely, I'm in love with this scent. Um, if I can, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, I don't think it smells 100% like to Victor and Roth. Um, I think that one's just a tad bit more potent, but I, I love this. Like I would settle for this. I would never have to buy the original ever in life because this one is bomb. Next one I got from them is the Fruity Oak Moss, you guys. So that is the next fragrance. And the notes in it are green apple, bergamot, lemon. Middle notes, peach, rose, ylang, ylang. It's spelled Y-L-A-N-G and, and it's twice. So ylang, ylang. So I'm gonna call it yin yang twins. Um, that's what's in the middle note. And then the base note. <laughs> The base notes are musk, oak, musk, oak moss, patchouli, and sandalwood. Maybe anything with a little bit of sandalwood, and it just brings me old school vibes. And I, I'm, I like, I like that. Cause sandalwood, back when I was growing up, when I was little, like it used to be a thing. Like my parents had something that had some sandalwood in it. I bet you couldn't tell them nothing. They got a little bit of sandalwood on. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and give her a squirt, squirt. This is the. Look, Girl, this is church on Sunday morning. This is what this fragrance is. This is the one that you're going to wear to church. You're going to get all the, the deacons and the bishops and the pastors. Oh, and the reverends. Yes, God. Yes, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Lord Jesus, don't send me to hell. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just saying that this smells like I could wear it to church and all these first ladies are going to be all over me. Okay, this is what you wear. Oh, girl, when they be having them programs at church, when all the churches come to your church and you trying to show out and what uh, what all of this they say stunt on the first lady. This is the one you wear when it's time to stunt on the first lady. OK, y'all, it smells so good. It smells like it's really fresh, too. But you also smell that that musk and that sandalwood all up in that thing. OK, I think the green apple is really what's giving it this freshness um, and that lemon. All that, all that, all that smells really good. You should definitely buy it if you like to smell like you're going to church to stun the first lady. Pretty much, yeah, that's it. Oh, and I forgot to say this one is inspired by Creed, a Ventus for her Edgewa perfume. So if you are looking at the Creed and y'all know how much that Creed be costing, not costing, but costing. I'm from Alabama, baby. This is how we talk. You know how much the Creed be costing. We're not gonna pay that much this perfume so therefore get you one of these from Dossier Gare and you're going to save a fraction of the price <laughs> next one we have for Dossier is fruity honey now why the first thing I thought about uh, when I said honey was pretty Ricky <laughs> somebody come get me somebody come stop me okay so y'all this one is inspired by Joe Malone why did I want to say post Malone this was inspired by Joe Lamont Joe Malone uh, top notes are black currant, green leaves, middle notes, honey, nectarine, base notes, peach and vetiver, vetiver. And let me give it a sniffy sniff. This is definitely one of those fresh scents. Um, I'm getting the green leaves and the nectarine for sure. 
and the vetiver and the peach. These notes be so accurate, you guys. Like they be like so accurate because that's it really smells like everything that's on this paper. Except for the honey part. I don't I don't smell the honey. Mm -mm. But it smells like um what is this giving? It's giving fresh laundry with like the booster scents in them. So it's giving really, really fresh. This is brunch. This is definitely brunch, brunch with your girls. Um, or we're going on a work outing with the, the lunch with the, you know, the crew for work. Um, we're going to go content creating. We're going to have some lunch and stuff. That's what that's giving. It smells really fresh, but it's still really, really good. It has its own little bit of sweetness in it. So I really, really like that. Let's go for the last one that I just recently got from them. This is the, the OG. Everybody know this one. This is the Ambery Saffron. And if anybody knows what that is, it is a dupe for the Mason French. I can't say this to save my life. So I'm just going to go ahead and say the Baccarat Rouge 540 because that Mason Francis Corkajan, Corkajan. I can't say that. We're not going to, mm -mm. we're not going to try. So we're talking about Baccarat 540, boo. This is the dupe. When I tell y'all, it's the exact dupe. I've also had a, a dupe in the alt fragrances compared to this one. Maybe that one cannot stand a chance. This smells so good. It lasts so long. And the projection on this one is absolutely out of this world. When I tell y'all it's out of this world, I went to, um, I went to home goods yet. Was it, yeah. Yesterday. And I had already sprayed my perfume and stuff on for the day. And y'all know once the perfume is on you, even though you smell it, you're not really checking for it. You know what I'm saying? Baby girl, the cashier, which was, she was not close to me. She was standing a, a little bit away from me. She had to know what I was wearing. And this was it. This Abri Saffron by Dossier is a wonderful Baccarat dupe, you guys. It smells absolutely amazing. So if you've owned one before and you ran out, you don't really want to pay the price to get another one. Or if you've never tried it and you want to try it without spending the, the you know, all that money on it. Baby girl, this is it. This Oh, it smells so good, y'all. And this one's unisex. So I think it, like both men and women can wear this one. Um, but the top notes are saffron, orange, blossom, um, middle notes, jasmine, plum, and cedarwood, and base notes, oak moss, firm, boss, balsam, balsam, and amber. That's the last note. And y'all, I love to mix, because uh, I had another Baccarat dupe before. I love to mix that with... And yes, I do have the small size. Uh, Mark Jacobs, perfect. When y'all layer these two scents together, oh my God. You just need, like, if you do like three sprays of that, only do two sprays of this. And once you mix them together, depending on your own body chemistry, I know when I put it on, baby girl, I smell delicious. I've also told a couple of my friends to try it before, um, and they tried it, and baby, they smelled delicious. If you try to go somewhere to impress somebody, or you're meeting somebody for the first time and you want them to know that you don't play no games and you want to smell like money, this is the dupe for you. I promise you. This is the Marc Jacobs Perfect. I have the Intense. This mixed with Baccarat together, girl, that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. Matter of fact, the company that I got was that I smelled expensive. I was like, I do. <laughs> Cause I ain't got no money. There's also one more for Dossier that I want to talk about. This is actually an older one. As y'all can see, I have used this one. I used to use the crap out of this one. This one is um, Oriental One. The top notes are Mandarin, Pear, Pink Pepper. Middle notes are Jasmine, Orange Blossom. Um, and the base notes are Cedarwood, Patchouli, Vanilla, and Coffee. And this one is a wonderful dupe for... Um, YSL Black Opium, I have the actual original one over there on my perfume counter. It's literally right there. This is an exact dupe for that. You don't need that. You don't need to spend $80 on that because this smells exactly like it. Exactly like it. I'm telling you, it's really, really good. So that's all the ones that I want to show for uh, from Dossier. I also like to wear Paradox by Prada. 
I love this one as well. This one smells really, really good. So I actually got this one pulled up online and let me read to you the notes that are in these. So the top notes are Calabrian Bergamot Heart, Tangerine Essence, and, and Pear Accord. And then the middle notes um, are Neroli Essence, Neroli Bud Essence, Tunisian Orange Flower, Heart Absolute Blossom. These don't sound real. Um, Jasmine Sebank. Absolute, and then the base notes are Amber Accord, um, Leo's Benzoian Resinoid, Madagascar Premium Bourbon Vanilla Infusion, White Musk Accord. Um, so that's what it says. This one smells like a day of shopping. This one smells like I'm going to all the luxury stores and mm, I'm about to buy several bags today. I need to valet my car and I need you to come by and pick me up when I get done. That's what this smells like. This one smells like money. It smells very expensive. Girl, that's weird. Yeah. All I can see is walking out of Louis Vuitton, walking out of Gucci, walking out of Prada, walking out of, uh, who else y'all? Somebody with a bunch of bags on my arm. And I feel like I'm spending a whole bunch of money. That's what I feel like. Mm hmm. I feel rich. I got money. Yeah, that's what I did. This one is my Valentino. And y'all, ain't nothing in here. Ain't nothing. Y'all, look at this. What should that tell you? I've had this. I've re-upped on this a couple times, too. This is the Valentino Donna Born in Roma. I love this fragrance. This one just never gets old. This one is a powerhouse. This is the type of fragrance that you wear. Oh, I would tell you exactly what this is for. A night out with the girls, you go into the club, you're single, you're about to find you a man. You want to get married? Wear that. I'm serious. You ready to get married? You trying to find you a man? You trying to find you a good man? Because not, not know any kind of man will be able to take this particular fragrance because it's strong. It's we about to get ready to fight type of strong. Like, this is a strong... <laughs> Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I'm telling y'all, it takes a certain kind of woman to pull that off because that right there. That's I got my stuff together. I got my own house. I got my own car. I got a good job. I didn't know how to budget. I cook good food. I take care of myself. I don't need nobody help to take care of me. I just need you to be my companion. That's that's what that's given. So if you're ready to get married, that's the one you need to put on. So the next one, everybody knows about our girl in the heel and the stiletto pumps in the club. Okay. Who would have thought that these girls would get crunk? We rock the stilettos. Oh, that's what this is. This one my husband purchased for me. I don't know if it was for Christmas or for my birthday. I think it was for my birthday. See, this is how you know men love certain scents. And when you're going out with your boo, there's a certain scent he wants to smell. He will know because he bought it for you. Okay. That smells so good. It's so calming and it's, I would say it's warm and inviting. Honey, if y'all going to be doing blind buys off of my recommendations, honey, are we going to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into? Okay. And they describe this fragrance as an ultra, ultra feminine and bold fragrance which I completely believe is true. Um, here are the top notes is almond, heart notes, tuberose, and jasmine sambe. Bottom notes, tonka bean and cocoa. And yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree with all that. All that, all that. I think I smell... That the tonka has to be what's different in here. This tonka bean th situation and that jasmine and vanilla definitely is um, a, a strong note in there as well. So that one smells really, really good. One of my all time favorites, all time favorites, all time favorites because I am a sweet, classy little southern girl and I love a sweet scent because I just want somebody to just sniff me and just want to take me and just gobble me up. So y'all, I had to go get the big bottle because this is one of my favorite scents. This is the Beyond Romance by Ralph Lauren. 
Y'all, my husband actually purchased me the first one of the... Whoa, that was real country. The first... <laughs> my husband actually purchased the very first one of these that I had. And I used that mug up so fast. Now, there's two of these. There's one that's just... Um, I think it's just romance. And then there's the Beyond Romance. Make sure you get the pink one. That's all pink all the way around. The pink top and everything. That's the Beyond Romance. This one. Oh my goodness. It is so sweet, you guys. If you are a sweet, sugar, sugary girl, this is your fragrance. Let me tell you the notes that are in this one. So it says it has Raspberry Culis Accord Rose Centifiola. Absolute Black Vanilla Accord Modern Woods. And what I'm smelling that's very, very prominent is that Modern Woods Black Vanilla and the Raspberry. That's most definitely true. Uh-huh. I smell that. I smell that. I smell that. This is a scent that I wear almost every single day. I love it because it's not too overpowering. It's not trying to give too much of a statement, but it also is just really soft and sweet and like... You know, like the, the, the sweet, innocent chick that just, you know, she doesn't say too much, but she know, you know, she's sweet and innocent, right? That's, that's what that is. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. So I did get me a little discovery K. Ollie set because I was very interested in the K. Ollie fragrances and all these fragrances on here, they smell pretty good, but I did find that I like a couple better than I like the rest. So the Love Fest, I know it's so little. It's a little sample size, y'all. So don't judge me. I will be buying. What's this again? I will be buying a larger size. Um, just I just I had to try them out and see if I liked them first. This is the Love Fest. This is Burning Cherry. Okay. The notes in this is Burning Cherry, Raspberry, Praline, Palo Santo, Guayac, Guayac, I think, Wood, and Patchouli. Y'all, this one smells really good, too. Let me not spray heavy on this, because y'all see how much I got now. Can't be trying to give y'all all these scents and stuff and spray up my perfume. I think that smells like Delina. That Delina scent. Um, I, I like that one more because it's not as powerful as the Delina. I don't know about that Delina, y'all. A lot of people say they love that Delina scent. I don't know. I don't really like this. You have to be really careful with this one though because I would say you would want to wear, you don't want to put this on the neck area because if you smell it for too long, it'll give you a headache. But it does remind me a lot of Christmas. I don't know if, I don't know why. It smells like, you know how the pine cones and stuff smell with the little fragrance like the, uh, what is it? Apple cinnamon is giving me that, but it's a lot stronger. So you don't want to go too heavy with this uh, scent. But if you do go heavy with it, don't put it nowhere up here because it's going to it's gonna drive you insane after a while. And another one that I like from them is the vanilla. I love this the color of that too. It's really, really pretty. And let me spray vanilla so I can remember what she smells like. This vanilla smells really, really good. It's also a super sweet scent. I feel like this would be the perfect bedtime scent. So after you put on your... Um, Fenty Beauty, the Butter Whip, the one that they came out with for Christmas that smells like a sugar cookie. I love that one. Add this on top of it, layer it together, and you're going to be the best smelling person going to bed. It smells so good. Super sweet. It's not going to bother you. And you're going to smell good in your sheets. That's pretty much what that one's going to do for you. You're going to smell really good going to bed. All right, you guys, and last but least, remember these are like my top, top of all my tops. I do have more. Um, if you want to hear more about the other fragrances that I have, please let me know. But the very last one that I want to talk to y'all about is not a, um, it is, it's not a women's fragrance. Ooh, it's just got my hand. It's going to be there all day. It's not a women's fragrance at all. I purchased this fragrance for my husband, and I think we both wear it equally because there ain't no scent out here like it. I talked to y'all earlier about Valentino, the born in Roma for women, but baby, the men is even better. This Valentino right here. 
this Valentino right here, baby. You just need one squirt. And I'm not lying to you. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yeah, my husband putting stuff on. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. I just want to just, ooh. I can't say what I want to do. But you, you get the gist. It's it, That's how good it smells, y'all. This fragrance right here. It's a cologne. It's for men. But I ain't going to stop me from wearing it. Because, baby, I be wearing it too. That thing there is something serious. Let me tell y'all the notes in. <laughs> Let me tell y'all the notes in this fragrance so y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? Because, baby, it do what it do. It's called the Valentino Uma, the U-O-M-O, -O, Born in Roma. The fragrance family is warm and spicy. The scent type is cool spices. And the keynotes are violet, vetiver, and ginger. I don't, I don't know how to describe in words what that smells like. Um, so I really couldn't tell you. But it smells like this. <laughs> it's really this on 25. So if you think you're going to, if you're going to the club to scout for a man, you're also going to get a $1.5 million house, um, two kids, a Lambo, and your man. That's what this is going to get you. Um, stay at home mom, housewife, you ain't got to work. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what you're going to get. And I think, um, Peyton, Peyton Marie, Charles, yeah, that's my girl there, y'all. I love me some Peyton, okay? Um, and as a matter of fact, if you watch Peyton, I do all the intros. If you want a YouTube intro, come hit me up, okay? I got you too. Anywho, but <laughs> stay on task, Amber, stay on task. She even wears this fragrance. She, she really, really likes this. And so do I. I feel like a woman can get away with it. And it works, okay? Well, mm -mm. y'all, I hate when that happens. Why didn't y'all tell me I had that on oh, my lip? I hate when the lip gloss and the lipstick be clumping and doing that little weird thing. Uh, well, that was pretty much all the fragrances that I wanted to discuss in this video. I hope you guys truly enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Let me put my glasses on to make sure I am still recording. All right, good. So I do truly thank you guys so much for tuning into the video today. I appreciate you for tuning in. Listen, honey, if you got any of these fragrances, comment down in the comment section below, honey. Let's have a discussion. Which one do you like best? Which one are you going to go out and buy? What questions do you have for me about the fragrances, honey? Because I absolutely love all of them. I wouldn't have told you about them if I do not personally approve and give you my stamp and say it's delicious. Okay? Because they were all delicious in their own right. So thank you again so much for tuning into the channel. If you are not already subscribed, like I said, binge watch some videos, honey. If you feel like you like me already off of this one video, subscribe to the channel and make sure that you tune in to all the videos. So turn on your post notifications and follow me over on Instagram at Amber Charnice because honey, I'll be posting over there too. So if you want to see more of me, go over there. Thank y'all again for tuning into the channel and watching today. Y'all have a good one. Don't to me, I can't really explain it